there folks, Johnny Highland here in my studio in Chatham, Virginia, bringing you a video on a really, really cool pedal. It's made by my dear friend Mr. Brian Shira from Shira FX, and his pedal is actually called the Sol Drive, or the Sol Drive, however you want to pronounce it. It's actually a tube-based pedal that actually has a tongue saw tube in it. It is really killer, and essentially folks, you're getting three pedals in one. You're actually getting a boost section, you're getting a preamp pedal, and an overdrive all in one. So before we actually get into some sounds, let's go ahead and take a look at this bad boy. Okay folks, we're looking down at this amazing pedal now, and the first thing I have to say is that I love the graphics on this pedal, especially the tube with the S in the middle for Shira effects. That's pretty awesome. So if we take our eyes now and go up to the upper right-hand corner of the pedal, we start out with the volume knob, the tone knob, the voice knob, which is actually uh, an amazing knob because it allows you to sculpt your tone of this pedal to what amp you're using. And of course, what it does is that as you turn the knob clockwise, it removes some of the lows and adds some mid highs. And it works really, really well uh, with the tone knob too. Pretty, pretty killer. And I'll get into some sound samples on that here in just a moment. But then, of course, you have the gain knob. And yes, folks, I love the gain in this pedal. Uh, just underneath the gain knob, we have another knob that is for the boost section. So that is the volume for the boost. Then you actually have a little switch on the right side that says pre and post. And that has a lot to do with the gain stage, whether you're using the boost section for the clean tone or for your distorted tone. And of course, I'll cover that in a moment too. The boost section is actually run on the left switch on the bottom, and then your on and off switch for the pedal is on the right. Now, if you carry your eyes all the way up to the top of the pedal, you have your input on the right, output on the left, and in the middle at the top is your uh, power jack. Yes, folks, this pedal does run on 9 volts. So I think it's time I grab my guitar and we have fun with some sound samples. I want to start out by letting everybody know that I love pedals like this in the respect that this pedal actually has its own voice. It doesn't sound like any other pedal out there on the market. And I think that's what makes this pedal really cool. Okay, I'd like to start with the boost section now, if I may. Um, what I've done, you can see over here that the boost light is already on. I've left it on. So here is the clean tone of my guitar through my fat Jimmy Jefferson 100, just straight in. If I hit the pedal on now, it's going to boost my signal, which means that this is actually a boost pedal if you want it to be. So here it is boosted up. So it doesn't change the sound of my amp at all, it just boosts it up. Watch this. So as you can see, it's a really nice boost pedal. So there is pedal number one. Now I'm going to flip the, the uh, switch from post up to pre, and then I'm going to add a little more gain. So let's do that. Let's turn the switch up and bring the gain up just a little bit. Now, I think right while I'm here, guys, I'm going to move this switch back to post and see if it still has a gainy sound. Now, my friends, that is actually the true preamp sound right there. 
Now, I know that we're in post, but it seems like the gain is actually sounding more preempish, if you will. And so, actually, the way I look at this now is boost mode is with the switch on post, and then you set the level of where you want the signal to boost, but then you can actually set the gain knob to where if you want a little bit more edgy kind of two breakup sound, you can get that when you boost your signal. That's really cool. Then, that means that if you want to boost your actual overdrive in the pedal, well, you can leave the boost on and then flip up to the pre-section, and that turns it into more of the actual overdrive. So, watch this difference in tone right here, guys. So here's the post signal. <laughs> Now all I have on here, folks, is a little delay and a little reverb, no compression whatsoever. That sounds amazing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the preamp -y kind of sound that we've got with the post switch, you know, the post part of the switch on, and the boost section. Now what I'm going to do is flip up to the preamp side and actually add more dirt. So let's do that now. <laughs> That's so cool. So, really, guys, if you look at it like this, you do have three pedals in one with this. Now, what I'd like to do is uh, we've talked about the boost. Now we found out that with the post part of the switch on, you get more of that preamp sound if you just turn the gain knob up a little bit. So now you do have two pedals there. You have a boost, a clean boost, and you have a preamp style pedal if you want it. Now, with the overdrive, the cool thing is, is you can use the boost with that as well. But what I want to show you guys now is what the tone knob and the voice knob sound like. So I'm just going to hit an A chord and I'm going to roll these knobs so you can hear it. And the voice knob is kind of, I mean the tone knob I guess kind of gives you what a normal tone knob would. But the voice knob is actually pretty incredible. So I'm going to show you what the tone knob does first. <laughs> here it actually does add a nice level of you know tonal sweep which is fantastic now let's go ahead and do the same thing with the voice knob now just so you can hear what it does it actually affects the low end and of course the mid-range as you turn this knob so actually we'll take it all the way back and then we'll bring it up as we play our chord here <laughs> To me, what that voice knob does is it pulls out low end as you turn it clockwise and it adds some like mid highs. And it kind of works together well with the tone knob. And I found for me when I was actually tracking this song earlier, I had it about here and I had my tone cranked up pretty good for the lead sound. And I had the gain all the way up. 
Now, I was not using the uh, boost section, but I was getting a really killer tone out of my fat Jimmy Jefferson 100 with, of course, my Johnny Highland Kiesel Signature JH6. And this pedal really has all kinds of amazing features on top of the fact that it, that it is being run with a 12AX7 tube. How awesome is that, guys? So I'm blown away. Now, the last thing we need to do, folks, is we need to see the range of gain. So let's go ahead and just do the same exact thing with this gain knob now. Let's go all the way back with it. And I know I've got the boost on here. But let's go all the way back, and then we'll turn it up and see what it sounds like. <laughs> there's the gain stage wow this pedal does sound great um, the last thing I want to do is take the boost side off and see if the pedal still has that same exact kind of tone <laughs> to me folks it actually lost a little bit when I took the boost off and that's actually cool because then you can set this for your rhythm tone and then when you bump up the leads and you crank that boost in there it does actually help boost the dynamic range of the gain so uh, I don't know if it actually adds any gain stage or not I'm not quite sure but from a feel perspective it does make a big difference so um, let's just hear the gain now and then add the boost to it. Yeah, definitely makes a difference for sure. Well, you know, folks, I want to take this opportunity and thank my buddy Matt, who's a student of mine, for introducing me to Brian. Uh, and I really am thankful that he sent me this pedal to check out. Appreciate you guys asking me to do it. This pedal truly is a masterpiece because it is a standalone pedal with its own voice, its own identity. Folks, the price of this pedal is $249, and most people would go, ouch, man, that's pretty hefty. But when you think you actually have a boost pedal, a preamp pedal, a tube overdrive, and a boost for your overdrive, that's, that's pretty incredible for $249, I must say. Now, I know for myself, I was a man who toured a lot and found that tube pedals scared me to death. But thanks to Brian, he has shown me that tube pedals can be designed and built like tanks. This pedal is rugged as all get out, folks. You don't hear any tube sliding around in there. So I got to hand it to Brother Brian Shira. He built an amazing pedal here. Well, folks, there you have it. An up-close look at the brand new Saw Drive by Shira Effects. I strongly encourage each and every one of you watching this video to go to shiraeffects.com, and that's S-H-I-R-A-F-X.com. Order this bad boy of a pedal today and tell Brother Brian that Johnny Highland sent you. I also would love y'all to subscribe to my new YouTube channel. And of course, check me out on Facebook every other Sunday 
at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Johnny Highland Official. I actually do a live Q&A, and I'd love to have you tune in with us. And, of course, like and follow me there if you would as well. You know, folks, I couldn't be the artist I am today without your support. I love each and every one of you so much. And, again, pick up this awesome bad boy of a pedal. Totally tube-driven, folks. The Shira Saul Drive today. God bless you. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you back here real soon. Cheers. <laughs>